Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I want to talk about digital radios and why I think it's a good idea to build digital radios with FPGA. Now, when I say digital radios, we can't get rid of the analog uh, part of the radio. We still need to, go to have a good front end, filtering, good antenna and all that. So um, I'm talking about the analog side should bring the signal to a level where the ADC the digi can digitize that signal properly um, and that will include the amplifiers and all the you know everything which involves amplification like will have noise uh, filtering band filtering all that should it's outside of the digital domain so I'm not talking about that that is still necessary and it, it's probably the most uh, important part um, that will give selectivity it will give the the quality of the radio when I say digital radios, I'm talking more about the uh, um, demodulation and um, the advantages which they come to the digital signal processing or processing the signal in the digital domain. So let's get on it. I'll try to keep it short, uh, around five minutes. So first of all, let's assume the signal is good. It's filtered, band filtered. We, it, it's, we have a good signal coming in. Now, the moment we are getting into the digital domain, we have no problems with impedances. There, those, this thing with uh, matching impedances is vanishing. So uh, we have just numbers, the signals, they become numbers, strings of numbers, which they travel uh, on, on the buses. So this gives us some advantages. One advantage that I see, if we want to split that signal, let's say we want to make different radios, which they go in parallel on different bands and different type of modulation, we can split that signal in as many branches as we want without uh, paying a penalty for the amplitude or for the power of the signal, which is usually happening in in, uh, in analog uh, domain. So it's just imagine it's just a bus with numbers. We can we can make replicas of that bus in in an infinite number of uh, of uh, virtual buses. Uh, another advantage is we don't have coupling so let, let's take the, the the case of a mixer right so when you have a mixer you have the rf coming in and then you have the low uh, the the your local oscillator and then you have uh, the output whatever you want if it's a down converter or up converter this is an ideal mixer right when everything goes perfectly and you get just the sum and the difference of the of the two frequencies but in reality uh, in, in analog land this is not happening you will have leakage from the IF into the LO, or the LO is going to leak into the into the IF uh, side of the mixer, or so uh, coupling. It's you are talking usually you are talking uh, small signals, so they coupling is something which will happen and leakage will happen. This is not happening in digital domain. So in digital domain, the the mixers are just multipliers, and they are ideal multipliers. So it's. Uh, there is a big advantage of uh, of um, of multiplying two signals in, uh, in digital domain. Now, um, other thing they they are not all advantages. So, for example, in uh, in in analog domain, if let's say you want to remove offset the DC offset from a signal, which could be a very big problem in IQ systems if you have offset on on the two on the I and the Q branches. Uh, so if you want to remove the DC off that it's not that easy. I mean in, in analog world just put a capacitor and to, you, to block all the DC in in uh, digital domain that becomes a little bit more complicated. I have a video I'm going to link it in the description how you remove the DC offset from a signal. Another advantage that I see uh, you can create as many copies of your demodulator in parallel. So let's say you have an incoming signal and you want to I don't know, to make a receiver, which is an AM um, LSB receiver on on some band. You can actually take that, make a very, very sharp uh, um, filter, FIR filter. Um, of course, you want to decimate before, it's up to you. And then put that to a demodulator. In the same time, you can make a copy of that uh, for a different band in the signal. So you can you can make radios, which they work in parallel, which is which is a huge advantage. And it's it's just a matter of instantiating another block and change some parameters. 
Now, uh, I know people, they, they are familiar with SDR, software defined radio. This is not exactly software defined radio. I would call it more like hardware defined radio, but uh, let's, let's say it's SDR or the same technique as SDR. So processing IQ signals is actually quite, uh, quite nice in the digital domain. Um, uh, for example, if you want to, to make a receiver, an AM receiver, this is more for ham radio. If you want to switch from LSB to, uh, to upper sideband or lower sideband in the demodulator, you just change a sign. <laughs> you change the sign how those things, two signals, they get uh, subtracted or they get uh, added and uh, it's, it's very, very easy. Um, it's not so easy in analog world where you might need to have filters and other, other methods. Uh, now, filtering. Filtering in, in digital domain, it's quite nice. Uh, why? Because you can make very, very sharp filters. You can make very, very long uh, finite impulse response filters. I have another video, I'm going to link it in the description on about FIR filters. So you can make filters, <clears throat> not only that they're very sharp, but they're reconfigurable. Something you don't have in an analog uh, domain. I mean, in analog domain, you need to take a soldering iron and change components. Here you change numbers. So you can have like a small microcontroller, which is is changing the, those uh, coefficients in the FIR filter and you can you can adjust those filters as you, as you please. Um, another advantage is you don't have attenuation. So there is no concept of attenuation in, in, uh, in analog world. Um, other advantages that I can think of other than simplicity and the reconfigurability and all this. I mean, just consider you can have a radio which has a bunch of demodulators and you can switch them on and off. Uh, you can make a, a fast Fourier transform and have a have a, a good picture of the spectrum and pick the, the, uh, the, the right signal or the right band or whatever you want to receive by having a good picture. This is very nice for a radio. Most of the modern radios, they have all this uh, where you see the spectrum and you, you just jump from one, uh, from one channel, one frequency to another. Uh, another advantage is that you can build very good local oscillators uh, for demodulators and you can, they are very, very agile. So you can change the frequency of those oscillators by swapping some numbers. Um, that's, that's another big advantage. Another video I have how to generate carrier, I'll link it in the description. So now those are all advantages. Of course, there are disadvantages. One disadvantage is complexity and you need to learn all those things and yeah, it takes time and uh, it's not that easy. And uh, yeah, uh, some people, they invoke the cost of all this. Now the cost, it is a barrier, an entry barrier for the, but you can, you can use a very simple um, FPGA or very cheap board, like a hundred dollar board to make all those experiments. Uh, that's pretty much it. This is what I want to do. I just I, I would love if more people they get into this and they they start using uh, FPGAs for for making radios and processing RF. Um, most of the most of the cellular band or cellular telephone infrastructure is actually has FPGAs. Uh, so all those you know cell cells uh, they are full of FPGAs and uh, those are the big. Uh, uh, customers for FPGA's company. Uh, another, um, something I completely forgot, most of the communication those days over the radio is actually digital communication. So uh, it's nice to have the, the, the signal processing part and the decryption part or encryption or packetizing, depacketizing to have it on the same chip, which it's ideal on FPGA. So you can make uh, ciphers and uh, encoders, decoders and all that. Uh, not to mention that you can make all those read Solomon encoders and the, the, all the FCC, the fast, the, the um, um, forward uh, correction for your transmission. So you have you have a platform for many thing for many uh, building blocks that they are used in uh, communication. Not to mention that you can have uh, access to an Ethernet interface. You can hook uh, and you can push all this data, um, which is already you know demodulated, depacketized, all that. You can push it over the internet and you can make those remote heads radios, which they, they stay there on the pole and they, they do their stuff and they just feed the, you know, the, the data packets or the 
sound or voice or whatever it is. So yeah, it's a it's a nice domain. It's a, I think it's 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 it's, it's a, it, there is a big advantage in using a PGA. That's my opinion, uh, which might be different from your opinion, but that's the way it is. I hope you enjoy the videos, and I shall see you next time. Bye.